Hello everyone and welcome back to One Man Stream. Today we're going to continue talking about some of the building blocks of vMix UTC and today we're going to talk about the timer widget. Now just like uh, with one of our previous episodes, if you're doing any type of sporting event you need some way to keep score. Well you also need a way uh, to keep the time. So that's what we're going to cover today uh, on today's episode of One Man Stream. Let's go ahead and bring in a timer that I made just to demonstrate um, today's episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the start button and it's gonna count down from 10. And I added just a little bit of automation uh, on the end just to spice things up a bit. After it counts down to zero, then it pop pops in game over. And there's a lot of uses that you could use for that. Uh, if it was for hockey or something where there's a penalty phase, uh, you could put, uh, after the clock counts down, you could pop up penalty over or full strength or whatever you wanted to do. Um, so that, that would just be one use case scenario. And then after five seconds, it goes back and it brings the clock up again. So how do we do this? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to bring up today's vMix UTC layout. And it only takes a few buttons. Um, you would go up to widget and you would click on timer and that would create this uh, a timer button. And what I did is I, I checked the uh, start, pause, and stop fields, and I put a link in there, start timer, pause timer, stop timer, and that's gonna give me a quick access to allow me to start, pause, and stop the timer. And then I need to come through and I need to map it. And then the last thing I needed to do was on completion, uh, I put in a, um, on completion, I put in a command that says uh, show message, and that message uh, is game over. So let's go ahead and look at how we did that. So let's go up to the timer, and then you can see where we checked the start, pause, and stop. And here it's start timer, pause timer, and reset timer. And we're not going to use any keyboard shortcuts for this, so we'll just go ahead and get rid of that. You'll scroll down and you'll see where the title mapping is. And uh, the name of this title is OMS Clock or One Man Stream Clock. And there are a couple different pieces of information in this clock. There's message text, clock, and then the logo. And we're actually mapping it to the clock portion. And under format, you can actually do hours, hours, minutes, minutes, seconds, seconds. But for most sporting events, uh, it's a pretty short time, 30 minutes, 12 minutes, five minutes, three minutes, whatever. Uh, so I just use the minute and then seconds. And then this last piece here, it says on completion, uh, game over. So you can actually operate it from here. You can, uh, you can start it here. And you can see over here that it is counting down. And you can stop it or pause it. And then you can reset it. Now, a lot of sporting events, uh, you're going to count down, so you, uh, you click this reverse box here. Uh, if you're doing something like soccer where they're counting up, you would not uh, click this box. And then when you click start, you'll notice it's counting up instead of counting down. But uh, for our demonstration today, we're going to click this box so it's going to count down in reverse. So when we start it, it goes 9 eight, seven, it's gonna count down to zero. We can pause it, and then we, we can also um, stop it. What I have this up set up to do is when we stop it, it's gonna reset it. And I did make some buttons over here uh, to operate it, and this is normally the way that I do it. Sometimes it's a little tedious hitting these small buttons over here, so I normally make me some larger buttons to make it easy, uh, easier on myself. So let's go and look behind the scenes at what's going on here. I put an execute link and the execute link is a start timer. So when I click on this button, it's actually running a little piece of script and that piece of script is called start timer and it's gonna start the timer. Well, where did the start timer come from? It came from over here on our timer. So I clicked the tech, the, uh, I ticked the start box here and I typed in start timer. So it's, we'll go on next to the pause button, click on that, execute link, pause timer. 
and then to reset it, same thing, execute link, the script is reset timer. Now I, got, I apologize for my speech today. I had some dental work done and my jaw is still not 100%. So that's kind of why I'm slurring my words today. Uh, so you'll just have to bear with me. Okay. And this button right here is the one that we did the automation with. In previous episodes, I showed you how to set visible on and set visible off. And that's all we're doing today with this game over button. So let's take a look at the script on that. So I put in here, um, the link is going to be game over. And I just uh, check the tick box here for execute. So whenever we type in game over or uh, execute link command and type in game over, it's going to run uh, this set of scripts that's below us here. So the first one is going to be set visible off. And for the input, it's the OMS clock. And then on the index, let's see what we got here. We'll click on this. The three pieces of information are message, clock, and then the logo. And you can see it's number one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn the clock off. And then the next thing we're going to do is set X visible on. And we'll see what index zero is. Index zero is the message. So it's going to turn the clock off and it's going to bring the message on. And then we're going to run the timer function. The timer function is going to run for five seconds. And then we're going to bring index zero, which is the message. We're going to turn that off. And you, you have to make sure right here on this type that it's either text or image. And you have to have that set right. If you're trying to turn an image off and on, it needs to be set to image. If you're trying to turn text off and on, it needs to be set to text. So all these that we're using today are set to text. And then the last part, we're going to turn back on uh, the clock readout. So it'll be ready to go the next time we start the clock. So it's very simple. I'll show you how we did this one more time. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click the start button. And the countdown begins. Three, two, one, and then game over. And then that's going to stay for five seconds, and then it's going to bring the clock back in. I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of One Man Stream, where we're covering the building blocks of vMix UTC, the widgets. And we don't have too many more to go. After today, we have the uh, volume controller, the T-bar, and then we're going to show you how to use the uh, external uh, data portion uh, of the widget menu. And actually, I've gotten several re requests for this. Uh, but what we're going to do in the very near future is we're going to do a complete Cricut layout. And I had to take a crash course uh, in Cricut. I'll have to admit I wasn't that versed in Cricut. So I'm uh, learning the rules and trying to... Uh, um, watch a little bit uh, on the internet some cricket games and see how to make this uh, scoreboard as functional as we can uh, but that'll be coming up uh, soon uh, in future tutorials it's going to be either a three or four part tutorial the first tutorial uh, will cover uh, the making of the scoreboard uh, with gt title designer and then we're going to do in the next uh, episode we'll show you how to create the buttons and then in the third episode uh, we'll show you how to do some automation with it. And I'm trying to keep these videos short. I'd like to keep them under 15 minutes. Uh, if we can do the full layout of the Cricut scoreboard in three 15-minute ep episodes, we'll do it. Uh, if not, we'll have one more 15-minute episode uh, to kind of wrap things up. I hope you're enjoying, enjoying these episodes of One Man Stream. And if you are, please give us a thumbs up and a like. And uh, make sure you subscribe. Uh, so you'll be alerted when new videos are posted. Uh, we do have a new website. It's called onemanstream.com. Uh, so stop off there and check some things out. I have some uh, photos. I have a photo gallery of some photos we've taken uh, while we've been on site doing different productions. The website was kind of my idea all along, but it takes a little while to get enough content for the website. So as we continue to put out these tutorials, uh, we'll continue to add them to the website and uh, we'll make it kind of a one-stop shop uh, for resources for the small live streaming production. Thank you very much.